Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie May Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and it may be a little brighter in here than it normally is when I film because it's only about 10 in the morning. I feel like I've already put in a full day. Uh, Katie had to go to swim practice this morning at 6 30 and I had time to do some grocery shopping before I had to get home to um, take care of Emily before so that Randy could go to work and uh, then when Katie got home from swim practice then she stayed with Emily while I went back and did some more shopping and uh, the guy at the uh, dollar store, which was my second stop, said, oh, are you just getting started with your day? And I said, no, actually not. And it's just, it's just beginning, uh, you know, despite all the stuff, you know, I was telling him everything that I had already done and I said, and, and there's more because it's school orientation day. So Katie has her orientation at noon. Then I have to leave memory, uh, mystery book club at two. And then Emily has her school orientation at three in another town so it's gonna be a crazy day and the reason I wanted to go ahead and and get my book haul video filmed today is because some of the books that I have purchased in the month of July are for prizes for my book club which is today and I want to show them to you before I give them away so I'm gonna to have to divide this up into two parts because my phone is not um, you know it's it doesn't have a lot of memory left and I need to go through and delete some stuff I suppose but uh, for right now I've only got about oh 20 minutes that I can film and I've already tried filming this once and I only got about two-thirds done and it ran out so I'm gonna split this up so I the majority of the books that I got in July are from library sales now you're probably thinking you just did that big book purge project what are you doing buying more books but I really did pretty good. The first big library sale that I went to, I bought 17 books, but I'm only adding five books to my shelves, and the rest of them are to go elsewhere. Then uh, the last big sale that I went to at the end of the month, I bought about 30 books that um, are, you know, like full-size books, and maybe eight of those are staying um on my shelves and the rest are going elsewhere and then in addition to the, those 30 I bought about another 30 or 35 children's books that are going straight to the Little Free Library so um, I want to show you what I got so this is part one uh, let me just kind of start with the very first library sale that I went to at the beginning of July it was fill a bag for three dollars and I have to say that I did not even quite fill the bag there have been times when I've come out of there with two bags overflowing and uh, maybe even three <laughs> but uh, this time I just came out with one bag so uh, let me show you what I got now uh, there are actually I thought initially that I was keeping seven of these books, but one of them turned out to be a duplicate of one I already had. So I'm not keeping this copy of Death Comes for the Archbishop by Willa Cather. I even had my Kindle with me, but I didn't check it. I thought, oh, I don't recognize this. I'm sure I don't have this. Well, I have a different edition. So um, it, I haven't read anything by her, but I heard about her through Emily Sears and uh, sounds like an author that I would really enjoy so um, I'm not keeping this one though if anybody's interested in having it let me know and I'll send it to you so then this one is going to replace a copy of this book that I already have my mother-in-law gave me a trade paperback um, a soft cover book of this and um, I don't think she'll mind if I switch it out for this really awesome hardcover book and this is Caroline by Sarah Miller a little house revisited of course Caroline refers to Laura Ingalls Wilder's Laura Ingalls Wilder's mother and so I'm excited to find that I have not read it yet then the five books that I bought at that sale that I am keeping there's one children's book one Christmas book a couple of romances and a cozy mystery so here they are this was my most exciting find because I've been collecting this series by Erling Fowler it's the Benny Harper mystery series and um, I'm still missing the first one in hardcover I have an old beat-up copy of mass market paperback copy but I want to find the whole series in hardcover and I have not purchased the last book in the series and then I was missing one in the middle and this is it so now I just need the first one and the last one to have the whole series and uh, each of the uh, each of the titles are a 
quilt, the name of a quilt pattern. And so uh, my sister's read the series. She said that, you know, there's an underlying quilt theme, but that's not the main part of the story. It's light on the quilting and heavier on the mystery, but she really enjoyed these. So I'm looking forward to getting started on them. And then I found a Christmas book by Lori Copeland, The Christmas Lamp. I didn't know about this until this past Christmas. I found this on the shelf at the library and I didn't get to it. I already had so many other Christmas books on my TBR. And so I was just thinking I would just check it out from the library again this coming year. But I found this beautiful copy. It's like new and Lori Copeland is becoming a, an auto buy author for me. I've really enjoyed everything I've read by her and so I decided to go ahead and pick this up. Then I found one children's book that I went ahead and uh, decided to keep. Caleb's Story by Patricia McLaughlin. This is book three in the Sarah Plain and Tall trilogy. I'm pretty sure I have Sarah Plain and Tall and I don't think I have book two which I believe is called Skylark. But it's a wonderful series. Just very short it's, it's a tiny book. It's not going to take up a lot of space on my shelf. And then I got two romances. This is one that my library does not have. In fact, they only have maybe a total of three books by Gerilyn Dawson. And I found out recently that Gerilyn Dawson is Emily March. And that some of these earlier books that she wrote under the name Gerilyn Dawson are connected with the Eternity Spring series that Emily March is currently writing. I don't think this one is, but... I don't know, you know for sure which ones are and which ones aren't. So I've been reading a couple of them that I got through Interlibrary Loan in the past couple of weeks. And I really enjoyed those. So uh, I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. And then I found a Debbie Makeover book that I was so drawn to the cover. Look at that apple cart. It's so pretty. This is called Orchard Valley Grooms and I don't usually collect De Debbie Makeover. I've read a lot of her books on audio and I'm not really concerned with collecting them because she's such a prolific author that it would fill up my, my shelves. But this was so pretty that I decided to go ahead and grab it. Then I have found some books that I am going to give away. Two are going to be for the Little Free Library out in front of Katie's High School. I found a nice copy of Cinder and then a fairly decent copy of Peter and the Star Catchers by um, Ridley Pearson and Dave Barry. Of course, Cinder is by Marissa Meyer. And this is actually a nicer copy than the one I have on my shelves here, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in the Little Free Library. Then for the Book Bowl, uh, I've started collecting Book Bowl prizes. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, me talking about the Sunshine State books, the uh, middle school where Katie went, of course she's in high school now, but I still volunteer to help with Book Bowl at her former middle school. And the, the kids have to read some of the Sunshine State books each year. And so last year I started um, collecting prizes for the top winners. They have usually a first, second, third place team. There's four on each team. And so last year I had collected enough former Sunshine State books that I could give each of the winners a prize. Now they also get auction points as that's their main prize because the librarian does an auction at the end of the school year so they get a lot of auction points just for participating and then they get more for being one of the winners. Um, so anyway, this is a former Sunshine State book from a couple years ago, Insignia by S.J. Kincaid, and uh, it's good. It's a sci-fi adventure story, and, uh, and I did enjoy it. I think it's the first of a trilogy. Then, um, let's see what's next. A couple of books I got for gifts. I'm not going to show you one, but Elizabeth Tyree, this one's for you. Uh, I might show you just a little peek. You <laughs> should probably figure out what it is just from that. Um, but it's one that I thought she might be excited to get. And I have two or three others that I need to send her. So you will just need to go to her channel, which I'll link below. And in a couple of weeks after I get these sent to her, then you can check out what I sent her on her channel. Uh, then I also got a book for Alana from Alana Reads. She doesn't do videos anymore, but this is Cape Light by S. Um, by Thomas Kincaid and Catherine Spencer. We've been talking about buddy reading this first book in the Cape Light series and then she couldn't find her copy. So I found this um, this copy and I already emailed her and said, do you want it? She's like, yeah, that'd be great. So we're, I think we're going to go ahead and open up this series as a read-along on my Goodreads group, Lizzie Faye's Comfy Corner. So I'll be having a video announcement about that pretty soon. Uh, there'll be this series and a couple of others and maybe a standalone that we'll be reading as a group on there. Then a couple of things that I got for my mystery book club. We're going to be reading A Great Deliverance by Elizabeth George in October. I've already read it, but uh, I wasn't sure, and I'm still not quite sure, how many copies the library 
has in our county. So it's always handy to have uh, a couple of extras. And then for last month's door prize, I was excited to find a copy of the third book in the Flavie de Luce series because last month we read Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie. So I gave this away for uh, Mystery Book Club, A Red Herring Without Mustard. It's book three. Then I went ahead and checked out this copy from the library so I could remember to tell you about it. I was super excited to find it. I ultimately would have loved to have book two because my goal for Mystery Book Club is to give away book two in whatever series we've been reading for book club. So we always read, so far anyway, we've been reading the first in a series um, and then I always want to give away the second book as a door prize. So it didn't work out, but I was excited to find book three. And the lady who ended up winning is not all that hung up on reading things in, in the exact order that they were published in. So she's like, oh, yeah, I'll read that. So I um, was excited to, that I found that at that fill bag sale. So I also got a couple of things for Emily and then a couple of books for eBay for my husband to put on eBay. He's had really good results with these vintage John D. McDonald paperbacks. This is a bullet for Cinderella and it's in really excellent condition. And then I don't know if he'll want to put this on eBay or not. I don't know, but I couldn't resist getting this. This is a weekly reader book called TV Superstars Scrapbook. It was published in 1984 and it features pictures and bios for the stars of the A-Team, The Facts of Life, Knight Rider, and Different Strokes. I mean, look at Mr. T there. I pity the fool who doesn't read this book. You know, had to get it. Then for my daughter Emily, um, she picked up the Easter Parade, a Barney's Easter Parade. She didn't have that one. And a Charlie Brown Christmas book. Hopefully this will work if I change the batteries. So uh, she uh, loves Charlie Brown and is always drawn to Charlie Brown books and movies and stuff like that. So that's everything from that first library sale. Then I want to show you four books that I got at my own library. The one where I belong to the Friends of the Library. The one I was most excited to find, I've been looking and looking for this, is book three in the Butternut Creek series. Now, I've actually already read this. I just read it a few days ago. I listened to it on audio on um, uh, Audible. And this is The Wedding Planners of Butternut Creek by Jane Myers Perrine. I love these covers. The books were adorable. I rated this one five stars. It, it's just a super good, clean, fun. It is um, not what I would call Christian in the truest sense of the word, but it, there is a church. There is a, a minister. Uh, it's a, a Christian church, and the story revolves around him and this group of ladies called the Widows. And from day one of his job there, they've been trying to match make and set him up and get him married off. He's only 25 in the first book, and by the time we get to this book, he's 27. It's just super cute, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed the whole trilogy. I, I would love for there to be more, because we have the... Um, the first one is the Welcome Committee of Butternut Creek, then the Matchmakers of Butternut Creek, and then the Wedding Planners of Butternut Creek. So maybe she could write the Babysitters of Butternut Creek. I don't know. That would be the legitimate next step, I would think. Uh, then another book, I, I kept looking at it and not getting it. And finally, the third time I looked at it, I thought, okay, I have to just get this. The same kind of cover. I love these kind of covers. And this title just got me. The Supremes at Earl's All You Can Eat by Edward Kelsey Moore. I don't know anything about it, but... I could not pass that up. And then one of the books I drew out for my TBR unhaul, books that I think I might be able to get rid of if I read them first, was the second book, or it was this series. I'm drawing out one fiction book or series each time I draw, and then five nonfiction or six nonfiction books. So I had a copy of the second book. There's only two in this series, and I noticed that our library had this on the shelf. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. It's Murder Under Blue Skies by Willard Scott and Bill Kreider. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start with this one and see if it's a series that I want to read, although it's not going to be that big a deal to go ahead and just read them both, but I'm pretty sure that I can let them go after I read them. So I got that. And there was a fourth one. Did I already show you four? Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, this is a series I've been collecting. I haven't started reading it yet. The Puzzle Lady series by Parnell Hall. This is The Puzzle Lady versus The Sudoku Lady. So that looks fun. And I'm excited about all of these that I got at, uh, so those all came from two different libraries. Um, let me show you a couple of books that I got, a few books I got at um, one other library and uh, a couple of flea market bookstores. And then I will uh, 
cut it after that and then make uh, show you the rest in another video so one day um, I had to go to our insurance office and it's in a town a couple towns over and they've got a small library there that has just like one part of a wall where uh, they have books for sale and I uh, so I was at the insurance office and I said I need to run to the library I either had to like fax something or copy something or transfer something I don't know and so of course while I was in that library I had to look at what they had for sale well they were doing fill a bag for one dollar and I thought well I will only get something if I find something that I just must have and I found two that I I knew immediately I must have and then I went ahead and picked up three others that uh, I didn't think I had and um, just you know round out my my dollar bag so this is the one I saw that I knew I had to get because my friend Colleen from never out of books uh, I think is that right I think I got her channel name right. She doesn't do videos, but that's her channel name. Uh, she had emailed me a while back and said, if you ever find any wishbone books, would you get them for me? I can't find them anywhere. And I found this one, A Tale of Two Sitters by Joanne Barkin. I had I was not familiar with wishbone, but when she told me about them, I looked them up, I kind of got an idea of what I was looking for, and I was super excited to find that. So I will be sending that to her. And then the other one that I knew I must get is Book 4 in the Spiderwick. <laughs> Book four in the Spider-Man Chronicles. I've had one through three for quite a while, and I've read those. I found book five not that long ago, and so at that library where I found this, they had books two, three, and four. If they had had one through five, I would not have taken book four. I wouldn't have messed up the set, but they didn't have book one. They just had two, three, and four, so I didn't feel too bad about grabbing book four, which is the one I need, The Ironwood Tree by Tony DiCerlizzi and Holly Black. So now I can read the rest of the spider Rick chronicles i'm excited then i got books from two different series that i've been collecting uh one of them i've already started reading and i didn't have my kindle with me so i couldn't double check whether i had these or not but i was pretty sure i didn't and i was right i didn't have them yay so i got one of the tea shop murders by laura childs this is ming tea murder and it's cozy mystery series set in a tea shop obviously uh the uh owner's name is Theodosia Brown or Browning and it's it's a, a nice series. I've read two of them so far and they're a little slow paced but I don't mind slow. I like slow. And then this is a series I've been collecting. I got a lot of these from my church when they disbanded and um, I am looking forward to reading them one of these days. I don't know if they're cozy mysteries or if they're just Christian fiction. Uh, Tales from Grace Chapel Inn is the series, and this is called Something Old, Something New by Jane Orcutt. And then I got one other uh, book by Emily Richards. I didn't have this one. Most of the Emily Richards books I have are hardcover, but uh, I have a few mass market paperbacks, so I thought I'd grab this one. It's called Beautiful Lies. She writes mostly romance, family drama, and I've enjoyed most of what I've read by her so far, so I grabbed that. And then on that same day, I decided to move on down the highway to the next town south of there where a friend of mine owns a flea market bookstore and uh, she sells her mass market paperbacks for a dollar and her trade paperback Christian books are two dollars so I found book three in the Gresham Chronicles I've found book one and two at a library sale not too long ago I say found I wasn't looking for them I just kept going by them thinking oh those are so pretty I really should get those not knowing anything about them and when I showed them in my last haul there were at least two or three people that said oh those are great I love those so I was really excited that I found them and even more excited that I found book three so that is exciting and in my part two of my haul I'll give you a sneak <laughs> a sneak hint I found book four and only book four it's so exciting when I'm at a sale and I find just the exact one that I'm looking for and I don't have to pull it out of a set or anything it's just awesome that way it's a god thing so uh, so I'm excited about that and then I got some uh, books for book club I found another copy of uh, 
what's it called? It's the first book of the J.P. Beaumont series. It's the book we're reading and discussing today for my mystery book club. It's called Until Proven Guilty by J.A. Jantz. So I got another copy of it, which is already at the library. It's on the display table. And then this is the second book in the J.P. Beaumont series. So this will be one of my door prizes today, Injustice for All, a novel of suspense by J.A. Jantz. And then this is book one in the Joanna Brady series by J.A. Jantz. So these will both be door prizes. And actually, I will go ahead, in case I don't get my second video done, at the um, next book haul, which will be in a, another video, I found uh, at the, the book haul, uh, the book, I can't even talk, the library book sale that I went to at the end of the month, I found book three in the J.P. Beaumont series, Improbable Cause. So probably I'll put these two together, and these will be one prize, and then this will be the um, second prize. Uh, whoever gets their name drawn out first, I'll let them choose. And then for myself, I found another Geraldine Dawson book called The Loner. It's from the Good Luck Grooms series. Again, Geraldine Dawson is Emily March, and I have uh, now read two or three books under the Geraldine Dawson name, and I've enjoyed them, so uh, I went ahead and grabbed that. So that was from my friend's flea market bookstore. I went to one other flea market on a different day, and I got a Jody Thomas book, which is called Texas Blue. I started reading this Whispering Mountain series on audio on Audible, and I don't own the first two, and this is farther down the series, three, four, five, something like that. I have a couple of them. But anyway, it's about a Texas Ranger, and uh, he falls in love with the, the girl who steals his horse, and it's really cute. Um, I read the first one, and I just, I loved it. So uh, this is from that series. Um, it's beautiful condition. Um, it's very nice. So I, um, I'm definitely planning to, to read or listen to the whole series. I like to have the print copies even if I'm listening to, listening on audio and I think the whole series the Whispering Mountain series by Jody Thomas is on the Audible Romance package so if that sounds like something that you would like about a Texas Ranger in the 1800s then um, you might enjoy that so um, two more and then I'm going to cut this off I went to a Salvation Army uh, during the month and I found book three in the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lou and it matches my uh, other paperback copies, trade paperback size, so that's awesome. And then I found a Lori Copeland book, Outlaw's Bride by um, by, or by Lori Copeland, and this is from the Western Sky series. So I don't know anything about that, but as I said earlier, she's become an auto buy author for me. So most of what I have left now to show you came from the book haul, the library book sale that I went to at the end of the month, and I will show you that in a separate video. So that's all for this video. Let me know if you've read any of these, or if you're interested in reading any of these, or buddy reading any of these, or anything like that. And uh, I'll see you soon with part two of my July book haul. That's all for this video. Have a great day, read a good book, and God bless you.